Hey everyone, I've always wanted to add something for the boys in my shop so I thought what is better than a cute little bow tie and these are made on an adjustable elastic and these can be made in either a full elastic like these or where there's a hook on this bit here so you can actually unhook it and put it on easier. I thought that would be nice just to give the option of both ways so I will show you how to make both ways today. On this one I use this pretty tan coloured velvet ribbon and I also have that in a beautiful purple colour and also I've got some black satin ribbon because I thought that would be quite nice in a bow tie as well. So I'm going to show you two different types of bow ties and two different ways of making the elastic. So we'll begin with this gorgeous purple velvet piece of ribbon. And this is a four centimeter wide ribbon or one and a half inch. And this is cut to 19 centimeters in length. I did try it at 20 centimetres, that was slightly too long and I also tried it at 18 centimetres. 18 did work but that would be more suitable perhaps for a baby or a small infant whereas these are more of a nice size for sort of an older child. So it depends on how big you want your bow to be really. If you're making it for a baby you might want to cut your ribbon shorter or if you're making it for an older infant or child you can cut your ribbon slightly longer. But I found that 19 works best maximum and then smaller for the younger children. So we're going to begin by heat sealing our ends. And then I'm going to make a loop. So I'm going to hot glue one end. And we're going to fold it round to make a loop. Just overlap it by around a half a centimetre like that so you've got a loop and then I'm going to fold it where that join is to find the center and then I'm going to bring that center down to meet up with that overlap at the bottom and then I'm going to pop my pinch in there now to do the pinch you want to fold it up in half like that and then bring both of these sides down so I'll bring the bottom side down first and then this top side and then just fold the ribbon back like that and then you've got your nice pinch in the middle there and then I'm just going to take a piece of thread actually I'm going to use black because this bow is quite dark and then I'm going to pop that in the middle my bow under my thumb, pull it so I've got a nice length here to tie and then I'm going to wrap it around the centre but I don't want to pull it too tight. If you squeeze it too tight that sort of distorts the bow a little bit so I want to keep it a little bit loose not too tight so I'm just going to go around that centre gently, wrap it around a couple of times making sure that's in the middle before I tie it off and just tie it in a knot to hold that in place. Not too tightly, but just tight enough to hold it. And then trim off the excess thread. So you've got your tux bow. And then next I'm going to cut off another strip around five centimeters in length and I'm just going to cut off that edge because as you can see you can see that edge has got like a slight finish to it and I want it to be matching on both sides of my center strip so I'm just going to cut a strip from this around a centimeter wide so it's one centimeter by five centimeters And then this piece you want to heat seal all around the edge because all of the edges on this are now raw. So it's like this and that is going to be to wrap around our centre but I'm just going to set that aside because now we need to make our elastic. 
So for this one, I'm going to make the elastic using a clear circle and this clear double strap slider. Now these are just strap hardware, which I bought from eBay. You can also get them on AliExpress or any craft shops usually sell these. They're like what are used on bra straps. You can get them in different colors. You can get metal ones, but I just purchased all mine clear because I thought that can be then used with any of the elastics, the white or the black. So that is why I went for clear. And then I've also got these hooks. So in place of the circle, you can use the hook, but I'll show you that on the next one. I've got these elastics here. These are one centimetre wide elastics. And I got these from AliExpress. I'm going to use the black one for this purple ribbon. And I'm cutting it at 50 centimetres in length. And then I'm just going to heat seal both of the ends on my elastic. And then first of all, taking this strap slider, I'm going to place my elastic through the slider and then in through the other side. like this and then I'm going to glue this side down so you want around a good inch or so here and then we're just going to glue this side down I'm just using hot glue if you want to you can stitch this down if you prefer but hot glue I find holds absolutely fine without having to stitch it So now it looks like this. And then next you're going to take the clear ring and we're going to pop that on the other end and just let that fall sort of to the middle-ish somewhere. So we've got just the ring on there like that. And then going back to our little slider on the end here, making sure the ribbon is straight, not twisted. So you bring the end round, making sure that that's not twisted in any way. You're then going to come back up through this slider. And then back down through the slider. So you've gone back through it like that over the top. And then pull that all the way round until you kind of meet the circle. You don't have to pull it too far. So it looks like this now. So this bit is now the bit that we've just put back through. And then now you want to grab hold of this circle. So you're bringing these two pieces together. So this was your loop before. We had the loop like this. Now we're going to let that go and hold this circle. And then we're going to bring this piece through this loop going in down so this is on the outside you bring it round to form a circle and you're going to go in through the top of that loop and again we're going to have about an inch or so coming out here and we're going to glue that piece down on the underside And that is your adjustable elastic. You can then slide this to make it bigger or pull it to make it smaller. So now we're ready to attach our bow tie to our elastic. So I'm going to first of all stick on my centre. I'm going to pop some hot glue in the centre, just a tiny little dot. And then I'm going to line that up in the centre of my bow so there like that making sure that's nice and central and then I'm just going to flip that over 
and then I'm going to take my elastic and I'm going to place it just over the back of my bow and I like to do it so the bow tie can slide across the elastic so I'm going to bring this piece over and then I'm going to place some glue on the other end and then bring that over so I haven't stuck any glue on my elastic that way this is still movable on there so when you put this on and you want to tighten it up you can always move this right over to tighten it up more if you need to or you can have it as it is and slide it to the middle that just makes it easier to adjust really so that is why I like this to be able to move and that is the purple velvet bow tie now I'm going to show you how to do the satin one. On this one, I'm using three pieces of ribbon because satin ribbon is very thin compared to the velvet, which is quite a thick ribbon. Obviously satin is quite fine. So I'm going to use three pieces and make it a bit wider and just give it some more thickness. So I've cut this to the same length. Again, these are all four centimetre wide or one and a half inch wide, and they are all cut to 19 centimetres in length or seven and a half inches in length. And I'm just heat sealing all of the edges on all three pieces, just to prevent any fraying. Next, taking two pieces of the ribbon, overlapping one on top of the other. You want to make this around five and a half centimetres wide. Like that and then I'm just going to use the heat from my lighter just to melt those together and hold them together in place and then the same with the other end making sure that that is straight five and a half centimetres and then we're going to place this one on the top leaving the same amount of space either side so I'm just laying that on the top again I'm just going to use my lighter just to melt those together and hold them in place Same with the other end. So this is what we've got now. Next we're going to make that loop like we did before. And we're going to make a tux bow using these three pieces lined up as we've now done them. So I'm going to bring this over overlapping the end by around half a centimetre again we're going to just fold that in half to find the centre And then bring that centre down to meet, meet the overlap bit at the bottom. You can then make that pinch as we did before. So folding it up from the middle and then either side downwards. Again, take a piece of black thread, pop it across that centre, leaving enough hang to tie. 
making sure that they're central and then you can wrap that around a couple of times and tie it off. Now on this one, I am going to do a white elastic, just because I think that this will be more likely worn on a white shirt, maybe with black trousers. So I'm going to use white elastic for this one. Fifty centimeters in length. Again, if you're making this for a smaller baby, you will want to cut your elastics a lot smaller. But this is more for sort of an older child or a, maybe an older infant. Heat seal the ends and this time we're going to make this one hookable. So you can just hook it off and on. So for that you will need one of these clear hooks and one of these sliders. So like we did before, we're going to pop the slider on there first. So we're going to go up over that middle bar and back through. Leaving around an inch here just to glue down. So again, it looks like that. And then picking up your clear hook, making sure there's no twists in the elastic, thread that onto the hook so that the hook is on the outside. And just let that sort of fall down. And then we're going to go through this slider end again. Going to heat seal that end again. And then this time we're going to pull this through. And then on this end, so this bit that we've just pulled through, we're going to fold this under to form a loop. So I'm just going to pop some glue on the end. Fold it over so you've got an open loop. You don't want to seal it all the way down. So it's like this. And then again, we're going to get hold of our hook and pull that. And then you can just simply do your elastic up by hooking over that end. And that is how to make one which you can hook up. These ones would probably be more better for a baby because that would be easier to get them off and on rather than trying to slip them over the baby's head. You can just undo it, pop it around the baby's collar and then just simply do them up. So that is another option that you could offer. So now we're going to attach our bow again.
and then to tidy up any bits of glue like this just go over it with your heat from your lighter and that will just remelt that glue and then dry clear again and then again as you can see I can slide my elastic through And there is your finished black satin bow tie. I really love that one. And there is all three different ones together. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you've got any questions, pop them into the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell button to turn on notifications. Thank you for watching everyone. Bye.